Let's talk more about some other aspects of definite integrals. In particular, let's talk about partitions and dummy variables. When you see a generic integral like this, integral from a to b of f of x dx, again, remember what all these things mean. This is an integral sign. a is called the lower limit of integration. b is the upper limit of integration. f of x is a function. It's called the integrand. The dx is a differential, and that x is the same as that x. It indicates the variable of integration. When you think of this, think of the picture. Think of a graph, y equals f of x. Think of an interval, a, b, the functions graphed over that interval. And think of what we're doing is we're finding an area, potentially positive or negative. This is equal to the limit of this sum. And so when you see this integral, think sum, and think of f of x times dx as f of xi times delta x. The delta x is this little small width of each of these, of each of these sub rectangles. And as n tends to infinity, the delta x's get smaller and smaller. Think of this as a sum of the areas of these boxes. And the f of xi's is the heights. The xi's form what's called a partition of a, b. In particular, x1 is right there. It's the first right-hand endpoint. x2 is over here. It's the second right-hand endpoint. Then we'd have x3, x4, x5, and so on. The last one, xn, is over here. So the x's, the x1, x2, and so on, out to xn, form a partition of a, b. That's what we mean by a partition. So when you think of an integral, think that there's this partition of a, b that's used in forming the sum or forming the boxes. And we multiply base times height in each case to find the area of the box, again, with a plus or a minus sign and take the limit. That's the idea of a partition. And it's sitting there right there in the integral notation. The x's is running from a to b. The xi's partition a, b. Those are similar concepts. This whole integral right now is equal to the exact same integral as what we would have if we put a t in it instead of an x. So that is f of x, the integral from a to b of f of x dx is the same thing as the integral from a to b of f of t dt. The x or the t is called a dummy variable. It doesn't matter as to what the answer is in terms of whether you use an x or a t. It just changes the way that we label things. So if we have a t here, we might write the limit as n tends to infinity. Sum y equals 1 to n of f of ti delta t, just using t's instead of x's. And we would have essentially the same picture here, except we would label our width as delta t, and the intervals as t1, t2, through tn. Same idea. It's just... We use a different letter here. That letter is called a dummy variable. Sometimes we want to use a particular dummy variable so as to not confuse it with other things. Those are some more aspects of definite intervals.